One of my favorite parts of being a Young Life leader is that we get to know kids by name and hear their stories. Often the stories that we hear are filled with moments of incredible victory and incredible loss. When young Life leaders get the chance to hear a kid's story. Often they take a seat back, they listen, they pray, and they get to come alongside our high school friends and do something about it. And when we do something about it, it's a thing called contact work where we go into the world of kids. We show up on their turf. And at Sprague, all of last year, we did a thing called hot chocolate, uh, where we served hot chocolate in the cafeteria on Friday mornings. It was one of those Friday mornings where I met my friend Steve. Steve was a super well-known and well-loved kid in his high school. He was an incredible athlete. He was the life of the party, and everyone wanted him at theirs. From the outside looking in, Steve had it all together. And so eventually I started to get to know Steve. I kept showing up to his wrestling meets. I took him out to lunch and eventually he started coming to Young Life. And he signed up for summer camp. He spent all of the spring fundraising his entire way to camp. And while at camp, Steve got to experience the best week of his life. And towards the end of the week, Young Life leaders across the entire camp get to sit down with their kids for a thing that they call one-on-ones. One-on-ones are where a Young Life leader gets to hear about how a kid's week is, to hear what their favorite meal was, talk about cute girls, and hear about what they think about this guy named Jesus. And when I asked Steve what his favorite part of camp was, he said, man, it's got to be the meals. I said, oh yeah, why is that? He said, man, this is the first time that I've ever sat around a table with people that love me. And as I got to know Steve and his story more, he um, said he was raised by a single mother. He had six brothers and sisters. And when he wasn't hanging out with friends, when he wasn't wrestling, he was often spending time cooking and cleaning and watching after his siblings. He said most nights uh, he, after he serves everyone that there's not enough food for him or his older brother. Later that week, Steve uh, began a relationship with Jesus. He gave me a call and he said, Nat, you'll never believe what just happened. I said, what, what happened, man? Tell me all about it. He said, I was telling my family about camp and about how I began a relationship with Jesus and we sat around the table for the first time together and we shared a meal. He said, dude, I want to go back there. I want to serve on work crew. And work crew is a thing that Young Life does where high schoolers go and they serve for an entire month out at Washington Family Ranch where they are waiters, where they wash dishes, where they do landscaping to help give other campers the best week of their lives. And when Steve came home, I asked him, man, what'd you learn? What, what was the best part of work crew? His response was really simple, but I think it was really profound. He looked at me dead in the eyes, super sincere, and said, you are loved, you are loved, you are loved.